welcome back friends and it's time to catch up with a little bit more Jake Cocoon. The last time out uh, I'd been in the spider forest we found the solution to getting the calabas herb as you saw if you've been following this storyline we've gotten the um, champion's belt which is a champion's belt for Parrell's wrestling tournament brings back fond memories of Grotter's youth so it was something that the um, chieftain had won in his youth uh, which has got gold and all kinds of lovely stuff on it and uh, we're going to trade that with uh, the fallen spirit Mammon um, and he'll open up a path uh, to the Calabas herb hopefully to save the village but um, the evil person uh, in this kind of storyline um, the um, chieftain's right hand woman uh, Jabara, the alchemist, has also given us this capture amulet and taught the chieftain into ordering us to um, capture the uh, divine tree and in doing that the god Elrim. So we're on a pretty, pretty big uh, mission really, capturing in the god of creation. And uh, I don't know how that's going to pan out, but it doesn't sound very good, does it? That's what I'm thinking, anyway. And uh, I've got some uh, silk I've got to sell on, so I'm going to do that first, and then I'm going to show you the new kind of equipment we're going to buy. Yep, people tend not to shop when they're in fear for the laugh. But we don't see the point. Um, so we're going to sell <coughs> basically all the all the um, silk. Because there's no point to stop piling it because I don't think you really use it for anything else in the game other than earning money so you might as well sell it. So we're rolling with 3,000 100 yen. Oh in fact I'll tell you what we missed a trick there actually. Yeah, everyone's staying at home. It's usually what happens when I think there's going to be an apocalyptic event. We need to buy some more meta mugwort. So I'll stack up on that, get a f about seven, six of those. And we also need a few uh, Ikari powders as well, just in case. Because uh, we've got stone. Um, inflicting enemies in the spider forest, which we're going to need to deal with, we only have one, you only got one in that bag, I didn't realise that. Stingy the game. Anyway, I'm going to go to the the uh, blacksmith first and uh, we're going to get ourselves a new weapon and we'll just, I'll have a little tour of the town as well because now we've got to a different act, uh, there's different kind of um, conversation options and things like that and people say different stuff and you'll find out that tensions are running pretty high uh, in the vill village of Parol at the moment. Uh, Cyrus, I mean. Parol's the kind of area, the region. Everyone here has completely changed after the Yonibubu attack. It all began when you started going into the forest. There you go. And you kind of find that as well. Some people that were semi-friendly to you and now gradually as the game's gone on uh, they're getting more and more suspicious of you and of Garai, um, as you'll see in a bit, definitely of Mother Garai, um, but anybody really who's in that kind of race. And uh, we'll show you what we've got. So this, this kind of game brings in a few different things like the themes of prejudice and things like that. Uh, because they're very suspicious of anybody in the village who's a Nagi like your mother and Garai and your wife. They say some pretty mean things about everyone. I've kind of walked through the village already, but I thought I'd just film it. Uh, in regards to weapons, um, things that we haven't bought, we had the Sword of Speed. So that had 25 on attack, but it's got 21, puts you up to 21 speed. So that's what I bought from here last time, but now we've gotten the... Um, the spear that we got from the forest. Um, you've also got the iron sword, but it's worse in both respects than the spear we've just picked up. 
It was a little bit better than Sword of Speed, but very, very much slower. And the only other weapon they give you is this one, which is the Little Bird, which is a hell of a lot weaker. But uh, it does make you a lot more speedy. Uh, so I don't know whether to buy that at one point, because it does look like it may give you a bit of an edge in the speed department. Magic attack goes up, so I don't know how that works. I don't know if that means you deal more damage using the seals, because you don't really do magic damage any other way as uh, Lee Van, the, the main character. Uh, so there won't be anything on that. I think I've already got the silver headband, so I might stick that on, because it's one less defense, but everything else goes up, because I think I've still got the iron headband on. Uh, in regards to the armor, we've got two uh, different ones because I think we've got that here. Yeah, we're equipped with the wire vest. There's a plate mail vest as well but as you can see that again further knocks you down one on speed. Delivers magic and magic defense up. Now there's a silver vest which boosts everything so that looks like a solid bar maybe. It puts your defense up by three, your magic attack up by five, your de magic defense up by two and your speed up by two as well and there's also the Divine Vest, which puts your defense up a further two and your magic defense up a further one on top of the Silver Vest, but it also puts your speed down one though, so you're trading off on having the extra two defense and two magic defense to, to have a knock to speed. So I think for now I'm going to buy uh, the Silver Vest and we might as well ready that now and that's about it I've tended to just keep my weapons I haven't bothered selling them come back some other time if you need a greater weapon take care and your good buddy um, shows up as well Kalmar yeah, that's his I name gotta stack the firewood for the furnace in the garden right oh you came by how was your quest going? As you can see, I made up my mind to start working here. I too can work as hard as you do, buddy. I don't want my mom to be the only one who's got to deal with my stubborn old man every day. What? Shut that trap of yours, Mr. Big Mouth. Real men work with their hands, not their tongues. There you go, slap back down, buddy. He's got armed by your dad in front of your best friend. Uh, let's just see anyway. I'll put the silver crown on. Oh no, in fact, no, we've got the silver crown. Which is a different thing, so I might get the silver headband then. Because I'm sure that's something different. Maybe I should invest in that then. Because that ups the speed and everything, but puts your defense down. We've also got the naggy belt that just puts up speed, really, and that's about it. And it does... It's meant to protect against cold and battle. I don't know how it protects against battle, to be honest. So I might as well see. Because I didn't know. I thought I had the silver headband already, but that's called the silver crown. Let's just uh, remedy that, actually. Because the silver headband... Oh, I just skipped a thing then. He does say something else, but he's, he's talking about um, the other villagers gossiping, basically. Oh no, we don't have the money for it now. Because that only puts your defense down by one and boosts speed, so I'll probably put that on. Because it means I might be able to counteract the um, having the divine armor, maybe. So next time I save up some money, I'll have to swing by and get that. I forgot that I'd spent one. Well, let's talk to our friend. And he's a bit of a strange one to say he's your best friend. The entire village is on edge. I wouldn't be surprised if a riot broke out. And with that outrageous talk of offering a sacrifice. Yeah, that's something else that's seeming uneasy as well. There's talk of a sacrifice being made, which I think will be something that maybe happens um, while we're in the forest doing our part of the plan. At any rate, better keep Mabu and the others indoors. I'll look after them while you're away. You don't have to worry, okay? 
So, if you noticed, this guy has a. S I think he's got a. S he's harboring. Well, I don't want to spoil things. But as you can see by his tone of voice, he's harboring a kind of a. Re that people could be more frightening than demons. He's harboring a kind of resentment towards us. The entire village is on edge. And with that outrageous. Yeah, that's all he says. But you can see he's, he's uh, harboring a sad resentment to us. I think he's kind of jealous of us being the big hero and the one with the fate of the town on our shoulders. Um, we'll go and talk to our mum. I'm just going to go and talk to people really quickly. Try and just do a quick tour of the town, really, to show you how everybody's thinking. And our mother now has to is staying at home now because it's, um, really it's not really safe for her to go to work train? anymore. Oh, isn't there another way? I am sure the venerable Jabara has made the right decision, but then again... See, even she is... Uh, she's uneasy about it, and so is Mother Garai and uh, Marbu. But she still is caught up with following uh, Jabara as well. Thinking that she knows the best. So we've been there, the, we've been to the blacksmith and we've been to the town shop. The chief's estate doesn't, you don't really get much from them. You just talk to a woman who's probably actually, I'll just quickly run in. And she's probably actually one of the more tolerant of the rest of the uh, residents. To be honest, the woman who's caring for all the people that have been struck down by the Annie Boo Boo. Uh, she doesn't really judge you too much. Yep, that's to talk about how we got knowledge. See, there you go. She's one of the only other people as well who's uneasy with this plan. And like she's saying that they're peaceful, sleeping oblivious to all the worry and paranoia that's going on in the rest of the village. It's time to uh, go and check on other people though and see their views. Uh, the silk mill is where you kind of You've got to think um, about your own <laughs> role of being a hero when you come here. See, he's, he's okay. The owner of the mill's okay. And he tries to, like, protect you. And he basically says that that's why your mother isn't turning up now because of the ridicule and hostility she's facing now is a lot more open rather than being veiled. And as you can see there, they're quite rude now about it. <laughs> there you go, see? Son of the coward, are we? So it does kind of make you wonder why you're actually going through all this effort to save these people. See, and they're all brainwashed by Jabara. They all think that she's the one who's got all the answers and the plans. And Mother Gray actually came up with a plan as well. I think that's all the old woman says. So she's one that's not really, really hostile either on the end. But the others in here are. And they're definitely the most vocal in their opposition to us.
See, they think Garai is the one who's behind it. <laughs> there you go, that, that's how far the paranoia has gone. Now that's, I believe, Grah to be the goddess of death that is dooming, planning to doom the whole village. I'm sorry if I'm doing these a bit too quick, but if you just pause it, you can take all the time you want to read them. I'm trying to leave enough time for you to comfortably read it anyway, but I just don't want any awkward silences and things like that. Again, they're on the drinking the Jabara Kool Aid. But even the people that are going along with it, again, are a bit uh, uneasy about it. <laughs> there you go, see, the hostility now is playing and out in the open. I mean, I suppose you could say maybe some of it's fear for losing their lives and the villages and the homes and the family, but they're still assholes though at the end of the day, scared or not. <laughs> See? <laughs> See, they don't even trust you and you're the person that's risking their life to go and save them. There's times like this you'd, you'd hope to be able to just open the battle system and give her a good ass whooping. Uh, insulting your entire family like that. I think that's all she's got to say. That's it, I think that's the end of that. And even the more moderate ones now will be open the hostile to you like the one on the the one with the purple hat was a more sympathetic towards you before. <laughs> there you go, the, none of them trust us an inch. I think that's all they've got to say, but it's all venerable Jabara and all this lot now. She's got quite a little cult following behind her now. Yeah, that's all she's got to say for herself. The other one, again, is... <laughs> like I said, even she's untrusting now. I think it's a big conspiracy. Eh? Oh, sorry, that one was a bit quick. So I'll just get your finger on that pause button. But that's all she's got to say. Like I said, gossips abound. Paranoia. Conspiracy theories. It's all here. Um, there's a lot to do, I don't know, it might be running on for a, long, a bit long. In fact, I didn't go to the cemetery myself last time. Uh, the Watchtower... Uh, I forgot his name now, he says pretty... Louis, he says pretty much the same thing. The spider forest? Never been there, so I can't tell you nothing. He does have quite a few things to say though, actually. 
Are you sure that's what you should do? It just might end up damning the whole village. Uh, he's the only one with actual speaks more sense in that sentence. Well, Kelmore's finally returned home. Aren't you worried about how worked up the village is getting? It seems like everyone's changed since you've become our cocoon master. Another person to say that. Terrible rumors these days. There's no way your mom can go out and work when people are talking like that. Hm. I even heard people say they were going to sacrifice her. <laughs> well, I don't think they mean it. See, he's an asshole, but even then it was uneasy at the prospect of her being sacrificed, so that's what I mean. He's a, he's a little bit of a douche, but he's not a fully I bad know. person. They seem to be saying worse things every day. At first, I thought they were just letting off steam, but now, I don't know. Although he's, he's still taunting us. But there you go, that's all he's got to say. He just tells you, like, how a few clues as to who may be the sacrifice. There's Nam's home, Musa's home, they don't have a hell of a lot to say. He still looks high as a kite. Again, I don't think he's, he's really that bad, really, either. Like, he doesn't seem like he's fully believing that she's the goddess of death. But, he's blindly following along with the plans. Like I said, he's still pretty normal. He's asking how our wife is, and things like that. So, he's somebody who isn't really too hostile either. Musa is a little bit more hostile because his son's laying there uh, with a sleeping sickness. <laughs> but it's understandable with him. I think that's all he's got to say. <laughs> oh no, I didn't hear that bit. He goes even a bit further on with his plans. <laughs> that's all he's got to say. I didn't actually realise he had more to say. So that's the new one for me as well. When Tom's empty, so there's no point going there. Um, I didn't actually go to the cemetery myself last time. So, I don't know if, um, no, the shopkeeper's son's gone, he's not there anymore, unless he's over with old man Potter, but I doubt it. What happened? Didn't the forest people divulge anything? Uh, there's not. There's nothing new, it just says the story of the upside down tree, but I think we've already heard that. Come. Mm -hmm. The forest is trembling. It's never been this bad before. I'm afraid something terrible will happen. What? Imprison, you say? Such was Javara's idea. Impossible. So, he's another good guy, really. Come again. The forest is trembling. He again's uneasy with the plan. So, and he's still pretty... ...warm in his manner towards you, really. I think that's with growing up with you and telling you and the other children in the village... ...tales. He's a lot more moderate. There's only the village square, so I might as well do that now, seeing as I've done a tour of the whole village. It's pretty much a throwaway one, you could really just skip to the next one. If you didn't want to see all this. 
and just want to see the storyline expanded but it gives you a little bit more of a depth to the game's storyline I suppose so these are the guys who said that it was unlucky to bring um, to have three Nagi in one village there should only be one So even they're not agreeing with this plan. The minstrels, I don't know if it says anything else. See, and they know who's behind it all. I don't know if he's got anything else to say, we'll just see. And then on the next video, oh, we're learning something new here about Graham, maybe. She was a midwife. Come on, you can't just leave it at that. It is said that all Nagi are incarnations of ancient spirits and their former life has greater influence on their profession in this one. So what might a midwife have been in their past life? It is said that midwives are reincarnations of the divine spirit Azura. The divine spirit Azura is the minion of the god who extracts a new soul from an old one. Some even call her the goddess of death. Mind you, this is nothing more than hearsay. So there you go, that's what they've got all swept up in, what they've heard from the minstrels. No, that's all he's got to say. But I think they're taking that more from an ominous tone than what it said like that. It said it's purely taking an old soul to put in their new one. Too. Like I said, it's a strange one. They're going to imprison something that grants life to everything in the area, so a bit of a strange plan. The Act of Gehenna. Yeah, like they said, they'd already. Um, again, up all of the ones who put the forest into four different parts. So she's the one who's going to perform the sacrifice we're on about and who will be sacrificed. Knowing us it'll probably maybe be Marbu or our mother, someone important to us anyway. We've heard about the sacrifice. Hopefully it's not us being sacrificed as we try and imprison it. Well, that's it. That's all the kind of um, conversation pieces that you have up until this point. Now I'm going to be just going behind the scenes, levelling up minions, uh, capturing some, maybe trying to merge some, show you some of the little creations that I've made. Or I'll go through them with you once I've planned them out. Uh, and they'll also be going back into Spider Forest, beating the uh, portrait and then carrying on with the story and going to the new part of the forest uh, that's behind that blocked uh, portal. So that'll be for the next video. Thanks for keeping up with this so far. It is really appreciated. 
and I thank you greatly, but that's all for this time out, I'm going to be back very soon with another video.